Good on that. Mark, we know that uh, Mark Cavendish did an incredible sprint at the end, but gee, you had to go early. Your lead out was fantastic. Um, yeah, really. You know, Matt Goss really done a great job. Uh, we held our calm. Uh, I think Gossie had to go and drag race Garant Thomas there, which was quite difficult. Um, but you know, if, you know, it wasn't perfect. I went probably a little bit, two, three seconds too early. Uh, Gossie really had good legs today, and um, but in the end, I got Cav to about 250, and from there. I don't think anyone's going to beat him in a you know a round curb like that uh, with that speed. Well, around I guess a kilometre to go, the other teams really did put it up to you guys. They weren't going to just let you ride into town to take a victory, so you really did have to dig deep to make sure you uh, rode them all off. Yeah, it's quite hard. You know, we're only nine riders. Uh, we've got Peter Vellitz who's top uh, 20 on GC, so it's quite difficult. We can't really use him too much. Uh, Danny Payton lies back. They've you know they've done a incredible amount of riding the last week. Uh, they ride on the flat days and they ride in the hills like yesterday to make sure Cav can make the, the time, lay, time delay. So, you know, it's, it's incredible uh, what they're doing. Were you aware before the stage that you'd had 49 victories in Grand Tours? That makes number 50? Uh, I think we lost count to about 300 victories ago. <laughs> it's, it's incredible what the team's done over the last three years since I've been here. Uh, incredible amount of victories, but uh, yeah, lucky we don't count. Uh, Otherwise, <laughs> I, I don't know what would happen. <laughs>